Today we're going to take out the switch inside the tool container here because these lights are always getting left on and we're going to a motion switch. So when we walk into the tool container the lights will come on and after we leave after a period of time the lights will go off. First off I'm going to remove this. We killed the power to this light here. This is a industrial cover. This is a piped in job. This particular switch has screws on it that tighten down on the wire. And you can really, this is quite simple too um, to do. And seeing that this box is all piped in and metal, we don't need a ground and it's grounded through the pipes. Okay, so we're going to put this motion switch in and this motion switch can be a little confusing to you guys and there's no ground in this box. So I'm actually going to, this is called a grounding pigtail. So it bonds to the box because all the pipes act as my ground. This switch can be confusing because it has this, this white wire here with the green sleeve on it and this can be either tied to the ground or the neutral so I do have a neutral here so I'm removing this green sleeve and I'm going to undo the neutrals here and I'm going to install the neutral to that and they gave me a some little wire nuts but i'm going to use my wire nut i like and this is just stranded to solid so we can't get a twist on it get them both lined up really well twist them good so they twist start to twist you can feel it twisting you can see it twisting it's good and tight so I'm going to tuck the ground in the back of the box and I'm going to tuck my white wires in the back of the box which are my neutrals. I have the power off right now. One black wire doesn't say hot. Both of them say load and, li and line and load so it doesn't matter which is which. So I'm lining up my wires. One is stranded, one is solid. So I just got to give it a real good twist here. Then it starts to twist around each other like that. Stranded wire has all these little strands of wire in it. Um, there's multiple strands of wire in here. And that's stranded. And then you have this wire here that is one solid wire. Line them up, get the strand a little bit longer. The strand is gonna wrap around the cell, it's gonna get real good tight. And you're gonna tug them when you're done to make sure. Turn the power on. And there we go. This is a manual and um, motion. So it'll stay on while as long as I'm here. Now I have to install this in the industrial cover, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Because on the industrial cover, this thing doesn't want to fit. I have to trim this down to fit. Some other good areas you want to install a motion light in. Maybe you would use so, uh, some hallways. 
Oh, we put them a lot in garages where you pull in your car into the garage and you have a motion light and it turns your lights on for you once you get in the garage. We just did one the other day for this lady so when she comes home from work. This particular box switch I had a trim and this box there's a lot of wires in this box. That's a deep switch but the industrial cover comes out a bit. That, my friends, is it. And if you do want to shut it off, you can shut it off manually also. And that's all it took. Another job well done. Install the motion sensor light in here. So now once we come in, it'll come on by itself. Right up the bill, get the money.